I want to show you how to determine the KSP from experimental data. One can measure the molar solubility or the molarity of ions in a precipitate mixture and from that determine the KSP. Here we have barium phosphate and it was determined that the molar solubility of the barium phosphate mixture is 6.64 times 10 to the minus 7th molar. So we approach this problem similarly to the way we approach the other solubility problems. Set up the chemical equation and also the equilibrium constant expression for the solubility product. In this case KSP equals the barium ion cubed times the phosphate ion squared because of the stoichiometry. And then we represent the concentrations of the barium and the phosphate as 3s and 2s. And when we substitute those expressions into the KSP expression, we have 3s cubed and 2s squared. Carrying out that math, we end up with 108 times s to the fifth power. Now we're told that the molar solubility is 6.64 times 10 to the minus 7th, so we substitute that value in for s and then carry out that math and end up with a KSP of 1.4 times 10 to the minus 29th. In this next example problem, we have barium fluoride. The stoichiometry for barium and fluoride is 1 to 2. So the concentration of barium is represented as S, and for fluoride it's 2S. Substitute those expressions into the KSP equilibrium constant equation. We have S times 2S squared, leading us to 4S cubed, then substituting 7.32 times 10 to the minus third molar for S, and that gives us a KSP of 1.57 times 10 to the minus sixth. 